Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. Welcome to my channel, y'all. So if you guys are new for the first time, welcome. If you have been rocking with me, though, you already know what it is. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. So what's up, Sag Team? Happy 4th of July, guys. What's going on with you guys, okay? Um, so you guys, this is your weekly guidance message. These readings are general. Please only take what resonates, guys. Don't force it if it's not your story. Um, this is your weekly guidance, right? So empowerment, right? But guidance is more gentle. So let's get it rocking, guys. Um, the color orange came out to me, first of all. And then also like um, strength, right? Inner strength, higher self-intuition, okay? You kind of empowerment, right? You're kind of building yourself up right now. All right, so we have the page of cups. Or I'm sorry, the knight of cups. And the justice card guys so first of all and we got the six of winter guys okay so first of all i know this is empowering message but right away this is marriage this is proposals guys people are coming out of a place where you know there was just some drama okay people that's not the story anymore for people okay six of winter you know honeymoon stages uh traveling relocating moving to better days and yeah the knight of cups guys that's a proposal and to the justice that's court systems contracts otherwise you guys might be kind of coming into a, st a stage where you know you got some contracts that you guys are going to sign right but it's good news you're coming out of the store and moving to better days otherwise guys you guys have to make decisions okay you guys got to make decisions or you guys are making decisions that are balancing the scales right you're seeing truth you're seeing things clearly okay you are taking action you're no longer in a dreamland anymore you're moving forward to better days you're coming out of the storm okay yeah tower card here right so this is sudden truth this is changes this is realizations okay basically these changes are for your highest good they're for the better right they're to allow forward movement here okay so this is just kind of a breakdown of something that wasn't built on a solid foundation so you kind of just ask yourself right where in your life you know was the foundation kind of a little faulty right what's in my beliefs what's in my thoughts what's in my communication my relationships right uh my job right where in my life okay and um the justice card kind of it kind of makes it kind of speaks to making decisions where you are sleeping at night without a heavy heart okay guys so um because it's time to move to better days all right staying grounded guys reviewing details carefully okay so some of you guys if you guys have contracts that you need to sign um please just make sure that you are reviewing those contracts you know reviewing them um devil card tower card king of wands and um the world card so guys this is some deep this is your energy guys right so i feel like some of you guys are definitely kind of turning your back on something toxic or some kind of addictions codependencies right self-doubt lack of self-love you guys are you guys are turning your back on that you guys are standing in your own energy as the king of king of king of wands right i'm sexy i'm passionate about something you know maybe about my own personal growth here the tower card i'm making these changes in my life and i'm closing out cycles i've learned lessons i want stability i want marriage i want something solid you know i'm Maybe kind of going through an awakening right your whole life might have changed here with this tower card your belief systems right the gates 11 11 okay all right let's see all right spirit so guys first card out is going to be your challenge right this is from july 1st to july 10th guys okay second card out is your strength all right what's going on with you guys third card out is your weakness okay guys cancer energy forward movement um, Ten of Wands, overwhelmed, or kind of laying down the burdens, right? A decision needed to be made to lay down the burdens if you're feeling overwhelmed, okay? And then also the the fourth card out, guys, is the advice. So what's the advice for you guys, okay? So let's get a rock in spirit. What do we need to know? Clearing negative energy, guys, okay? Clearing negative energy. And that means people, places, even thoughts within yourself, okay? Wherever you feel like there's just a negative vibration, guys, avoid it. And it could be friends. It could be family, right? It could be friends. It could be family. Uh, just kind of, you know, making those necessary changes to kind of get rid of those toxic situations, right, that were in your life. It could have been a relationship, possibly where there's a third party situation, guys. But on the, on the flip side of that, I feel like there have been major changes to people's lives, right, where people are celebrating with family, right? It's the 4th of July. So you guys might be living your best life here. You guys are kind of coming into reunion with fr friends, family, relationships here. Maybe even with yourself, right? Mind, body, and soul that level up spiritually here, okay? And it's like you're coming out of a place where, you know, there was like all these, you know, toxins, right? 
all these bad behaviors, all these toxic relationships, all this lack of self-love, all this, you're kind of clearing out of that, those addictions, right? No longer drinking anymore, if you guys are. This is your message here, okay? Um, everything is about balance in life, guys, right? Self-love here, your happiness, right? People are kind of getting back to that happy state of mind. So, beautiful. All right, so let's get it rocking. Pisces, somehow Pisces could be related to this. All right, Spirit, what do we have? <laughs> yeah guys somehow Pisces could be related to this okay possibly all right um but this is about family guys this is kind of accepting things as they are right going with the flow not having your head in the clouds okay um just accepting things looking at things from a different perspective okay putting in the work for the future that you want to have some of you guys got some money possibly coming in here you could have children with this individual but otherwise guys yeah um this is definitely kind of you being the power player in your life being focused making smart decisions here okay staying balanced and staying grounded you guys have a lot of messages but we're just going to get right to it okay spirit so, some of you guys could be reuniting maybe with your family, right? Your father or somehow a father figure, all right? Somebody who played a, played an important role in your life here. Or even a mother figure, like a whole family. You guys could kind of be coming, you know, there could have been some major changes in your family structure where people are kind of coming back together here, all right? So, Queen of Wands, guys. Beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. So, you guys... <laughs> You guys, this is so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to paint this story really quick, guys. This is love, right? This is a love story, all right? People are traveling. People are relocating to love, all right? Messages are coming in, right? Maybe email and text messages, okay? Maybe people are literally flying or driving in here, but this is people working together. Forward movement, cancer energy, right? I'm bringing that love offer to my family or there's a renewal in love. This is just a happy time for people, okay people are reuniting people are celebrating here people are speaking their truth they're communicating they know what they want they see clearly now and somebody's bringing a love offer to you right the roles could be vice versa guys or you could be bringing this love offer to somebody but this is um water sign energy cancer um scorpio pisces otherwise guys this is definitely somebody who's just emotionally mature guys they know what they want and they see you sitting here as the queen of wands and um you know they're bringing their love right there's a lot of attraction emotional this relationship guys is passion right it's like steam with water guys this is very passionate this relationship here okay so you guys are definitely kind of leveling up here um now others of you guys this is definitely obstacles are being removed right maybe this isn't a relationship for you okay obstacles are being removed you guys are having forward movement possibly traveling you guys are really feeling confident right really feeling yourself here maybe kind of chasing after something that really means a lot to you a dream passion right love all right it brings you a lot of emotional fulfillment and you know you're gonna get that good news you're celebrating where you're at right now right because some kind of communication or this is just that awakening right for some of you guys right you guys are definitely maybe kind of going through an awakening once again but you're in a good place emotionally here where you're emotionally balanced you know the king of the king of cups is somebody who is a dreamer he's a nature he's a nurturer right he has a dream in mind and then here i'm taking action on it here because i have my eye on the prize and this person right here she doesn't give up guys she goes for something okay so this is beautiful guys we got the full card here and then also six of pentacles so some kind of money coming coming in guys um or also that that relationship where it's going to be balanced okay so that was a lot let's get it rocking Pisces energy again, guys. What's the challenge? Um, so it could be a whole person, a Pisces person, right? Maybe there's a lot of attraction with this individual, or this is just a matter of kind of, you know, the challenge is, is just allowing yourself to kind of go with the flow, right? Fire energy. We like to go, 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 go. All right. But this is asking us to kind of take a total surrender to the situation, take a step back, or maybe things are at a standstill right now. And that's the challenge for you guys. Okay. So some of you guys are needing to kind of take a step back so that you can clear, um, um, clear the confusion right see things clearly and then when you're making moves you're making the right decisions um, otherwise guys this could be just a whole person in general the Pisces energy right this could be somebody who is just kind of go with the flow and you know that could be a challenge for you because you like to move right you like to be on the move all right um, what else do that in um, just surrendering to the process, guys, accepting things for what they are. Some of you guys may just kind of need to accept things for what they are, right? And just allow yourself to kind of either allow somebody new to come into your life or just allow, you know, something new 
to come into your life. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. Okay. What is the what is your strength though? All right, so you guys, this is beautiful. Um, so the strength is uh possibly another individual, earth sign energy, maybe somebody kind of coaching you, helping you along. Otherwise, guys, this is somebody who is very practical, very methodical. All right, takes his time, okay, his or her time. All right. So this is somebody who who is taking action, though, right? I'm moving, I'm practical, I make sense. When I make decisions, I'm gonna do it in a practical order to give me the results that I want here. This is somebody who is very patient, okay? But then also, um, you guys, I just did the Pisces reading, and like the, some of these cards were Pisces. So if you are associated with the Pisces, guys, go take a look at the Pisces reading. But um, the Knight of Pentacles, guys, he enjoys the journey, right? So it's like he's not really in a rush. So it's, it's really interesting that it's coming up as a challenge for you, but then also your strength, okay? So maybe this is a test for you to kind of evolve, maybe spiritually, right? This is spiritual awakening, okay? Um, but guys, what you got working for you is just taking your time, enjoying the journey, all right? Allowing things to kind of just move you along and having trust and putting in the work. The Knight of Pentacles is a hardworking person, okay, guys? All right, so what is your weakness? All right, you guys, you guys are... So you guys, you guys might have um, a challenge kind of going back and forth with your energy, right? I want to go with the flow. I'm moving. And then your weakness, guys, is coming up as the three of wands, right? So this is, you know, kind of waiting for something, right? Um, maybe kind of planning and just kind of being in that energy of waiting, waiting guys so um when i when i earlier today i was thinking about the three of wands but basically what i feel is like the three of wands is the energy where it's like you know what i make i have made the decision to move on i made the decision to kind of move forward and now i'm just kind of waiting for my ships to kind of come in right i'm waiting for that information to come in maybe i'm waiting for a whole person but i'm just also planning though for the future here okay so both of these cards guys for me, um, this is like kind of spiritual, right? Spiritual and the number three talks about creating. So with, you know, the fact that I keep on getting spiritual, I know it's, I don't, some of you guys are not on a spiritual journey, guys, but some of you guys are, and you guys are really kind of just leveling up here in your spiritual life, okay? But guys, the three of wands is all about, once again, being practical, it's planning, it's researching, right? Um, envisioning the future, being optimistic here, and then really kind of getting things in order, right? Maybe kind of researching or planning or just kind of taking those steps to get you to the next step, okay? That's coming through as a weakness, so you guys may just kind of be tired of waiting. You're impatient. You want that instant gratification, okay? So guys, just kind of be aware of that. Take your time because this is your strength, right? Enjoying the journey, enjoying the process, okay? All right, so what's the advice for you guys? All right, so you guys, taking a step back, right? Not letting your thoughts get the best of you, right? Not letting past experiences put you in a place of fear, put you in a place of stagnation, put you in a place of feeling stuck here, all right? If you're needing to kind of communicate something with somebody or to yourself, right? Go ahead and do that, all right? Take the blindfolds off so you can actually see what it is that you're doing, see where you're going here, okay? Um, but this is self-imposed fears, guys. So not letting your thoughts get the best of you, right? Staying strong in your faith and knowing who you are, all right? And realizing that, you know, you guys probably have some decisions that you guys got to make, right? Don't be scared, right? Take off the blindfold and don't let your past experiences make you feel like you can't move forward, okay? Find the beauty in all of these experiences that have happened to you because everything happens for a reason in life, guys, okay? And it is to push you in the direction that you're supposed to go. All right. So, yes, guys, making sure that you're emotionally balanced. All right. Taking a step back so that you have that clarity. Right. When you're making moves, guys, you want to make sure that you're making moves from a place of balance, of clarity. That way you're making the right moves here. OK, so mind, body and soul, guys, peace of mind so that you have that happiness. OK, allow happiness in here. All right. What else? There? Yeah. Um, you guys, some of you guys, it might be a challenge for you guys to move on, move forward, right? To kind of envision your life without somebody, without something, okay? Is that it? I'm going to do an affirmation card for you guys. I'm going to spare. Let's do an affirmation card. 
<laughs> I trust myself to act when the energy moves me, guys. All right. So, guys, I flipped right to that card, okay? So, you guys listening to your intuition here, okay? Yes, guys, intuition. You guys are leveling up here in your life. And I know some of you guys aren't on a spiritual journey. But nonetheless, guys, you guys can trust yourself, okay? So, um... <laughs> The more I trust my intuition and act on its wisdom, the more extraordinary my life becomes, guys, okay? So intuition and trust is very strong energy for you guys. I am patient with my needs, kind with my words, and respectful with my soft places. Respectful of my soft places, guys, okay? So be gentle with yourself, all right? Be gentle, be respectful, and know your own needs, right? Take that time to have yourself, self-time. I am worthy of more prosperity and I am open and I open my heart and hands to receive it now, guys. Um, I transform my life by transforming the space in which I live and work, guys, okay? All right. So, guys, find beauty in everything. Find beauty in the journey. Find beauty in the position that you're in right now, guys. Be patient and continue to plan your next move. So, when you're making your moves, guys, it's going to push you in the right direction, okay? All right, guys. So I love you guys. Sag team. Um, as always, y'all talk to your girl. I talk back, y'all. Peace.